Hello, beautiful people. Let me just take a... A bit of coffee. And let's go through task number two, elements of security operations. In this task, we talk about example data sources that the security operations center relies on, the services that the SOC provides, and an example scenario, data sources. The security operations center uses many data sources to monitor the network for signs of intrusion and to detect any malicious behavior. Some of these sources are server logs, there are many types of servers on a network, such as a mail server, web server, domain and domain controller on Microsoft Windows networks. Logs contain information about various activities, such as successful and failed login attempts, among many others. There is a trove of information that can be found in the server logs. DNS activity, domain name systems, and it is the protocol responsible for converting a domain name, such as TriHackMe, to an IP address, such as 103. 1337, among other domain name related queries. One analogy of a DNS query is asking, how can I reach TriHackMe? And some are replying with the postal address. In practice, if someone tries to browse tryhackme.com, the domain name system server has the resolution, has to resolve it and can log the domain name system query to monitoring. The Security Operations Center can gather information about domain names that internal systems are trying to communicate with by merely inspecting domain name system queries. Firewall logs. A firewall is a device that controls network packets, entering and leaving the network mainly by letting them through or blocking them. Consequently, firewall logs can reveal much information about what packets passed or tries to pass through the firewall. DHCP logs, dynamic host configuration protocol, and is responsible for assigning an IP address to the systems that try to connect to a network. One analogy of a DHCP request would be when you enter a fancy restaurant and the waiter welcomes you and guides you to an empty table. Known that DHCP has automatically providing you automatically provided your device with the network settings whenever you can join a network without manual configuration. By inspecting the HCP transactions, we can learn about the devices that join the network. These are some of the most common data sources. However, many other sources can be used to aid in the network security monitoring and the other tasks of the security operation center. A SOC might use a security information and event management, a SIM system. The SIM aggregates the data from the different sources so that the SOC can efficiently correlate the data and respond to attacks. Yeah, here in the diagram you can see all types of information that uh, you can receive from different servers different kind of services. We see the information that we saw above, server logs, DHCP logs, database logs, firewall logs, and DNS activity. Security Operations Center services. Security Operations SOC services include reactive and proactive services in addition to other services. Reactive services refer to the tasks initiated after detecting an intrusion or a malicious event. Example reactive services include monitoring security posture, this is the primary role of the SOC, and it includes monitoring the network and computers for security alerts and notifications and respond to them as the need dictates. Vulnerability management. This refers to finding vulnerabilities in the company system and patching, fixing, patching them, basically fix them. The SOC can assist with this task, but not necessarily execute it. Malware analysis. The SOC might recover malicious programs that reached the network. The SOC can do basically analysis by executing it in a controlled environment. However, more, more advanced analysis requires sending it to a dedicated team. Intrusion detection. An intrusion detection system, or IDS for short, is used to detect and log intrusions and suspicious packets. The SOC's job is to maintain such a system, monitor its alert, and go through its logs as the need dictates. Reporting. It is essential to report incidents and alerts. Reporting, it, reporting is necessary to ensure a smooth workflow and to support compliance requirements. 
proactive services refer to the task handled by the SOC without any indicator of an intrusion. Example proactive services carried out by the SOC include Network Security Monitoring, NSM. This focuses on monitoring the network data and analyzing the traffic to detect signs of intrusion. Threat Hunting With threat hunting, the SOC assumes an intrusion has already taken place and begins its hunt to see if they can confirm its assumption. Threat Intelligence Threat Intelligence focuses on learning about potential adversaries and their tactics and techniques to improve the company's defenses. The purpose would be to establish a threat-informed defense. Other services by the SOC include cybersecurity training. Many data breaches and intrusion can be avoided by raising user security awareness and, uh, and amid them with solid security training. We have a little example scenario here as well. One role of a SOC is the SOC analyst. A SOC analyst is responsible for network security monitoring and log management. Let's consider the following scenario. While monitoring the network traffic, a SOC analyst notices a particular DNS query repeating every minute. This behavior is not that of a user browsing the internet and every precisely one minute they are making a new DNS query. The SOC analyst checks the source of the DNS query and, in and identifies the cause as one laptop on the network. They isolate it and inspect it for signs of infection. They discover a process or a program using DNS to communicate with a malicious server. Soon they find out that the computer was infected after visiting a malicious website by reviewing the computer logs. As a result, the laptop began communicating with a malicious server by hiding the messages in DNS queries. The laptop is cleaned and threat hunting starts to ensure that no other computer is infected. Okay. <laughs> Okay, interesting example. Answer the questions below. What does NSM stands for? If we can see right here. Copy. Network Security Monitoring. 